Good evening folks, uh, just thought we'd have a look at yet another cheapo multimeter um, and you know you know that this is a, a, a sensitive subject on my channel um, yeah I'll link to my other rant video uh, down below but yeah this is uh, just another example of a cheap piece of equipment that is absolutely perfectly suited to the hobbyist or somebody new into electronics you know the tagline is don't spend a fortune you know you don't need to now this meter um has got various functions you know we've got dc volts ac volts um you know current um resistance they've got diode check and transistor uh tested as well it's the dt uh, 830b um it comes with these really cheapo uh leads which are rated to a thousand volts clearly you're not going to near uh, go anywhere near a thousand volts uh, with those things um regardless of current really i suppose and um, we do get a little printed instruction manual um now in my previous video i just basically compared my cheapo in fact i'll just grab it in here uh, vc 97 you know 15 20 quid meter uh, which does me absolutely perfectly um but i just uh, basically checked the voltage and how accurate it was to to the power supply that i use on my bench um or bench power supply if you prefer <laughs> but um yeah, so all I'm going to do is hook it up um, and, you know, see see what a, it's a readback it gives us. Now, I said again in my previous video, the hobbyist is more likely going to use one of three voltages. It's going to be 3.3 .3 or 5 volts if you're talking about Arduino or Raspberry Pis or, you know, microcontrollers, that kind of thing. Or maybe up to 12 volts depending on the, the application or the project you're doing. So, if I just put this on at 5 volts, uh, so we'll put the uh, put it to DC volts 20, and we'll just hook up the 5 volt uh, and see what it says. So there we go, so it's 0 0.1, 0 0.1314 of a volt off, yeah, perfectly acceptable. Let's uh, drop it down to, to 3.3. Three. Yeah, and at that range, it's uh, yeah, point point zero nine of a volt out, and then let's just uh, ramp it up to to twelve volts there. Um, yeah, point point three point two nine of a volt off. Yeah, totally acceptable um, for the hobbyist. You know, you're not going to go wrong. Um, you're not going to go wrong with that. Uh, so accuracy. Um, I've got a 300k resistor here, so we'll put it to the 2000k range. Um, let's just uh, stick the probes on and see what that tells us. 291, 292ish k. Yeah, again, totally acceptable. Um, it's obviously not got a continuity mode, you know, the price of the buzzer, you know, the, or the pe little piezo speaker, stuff like that, you know. The, this is obviously made down to a cost. Um, you know, now this particular model you can buy um, as a, in kit form, so if you want to build it yourself, you can do that. The kit is um, around £6.5, including delivery to UK, and um, I don't think I've mentioned it already, but how much do you think this is? Including delivery to UK, yeah, just over two pounds, two pounds twelve pence, I think it was. Um, so phenomenal value, uh, certainly for the the beginner or the kids or whatever, you know, or even just a, a crappy stocking filler for somebody with Christmas coming up, um, because it'd be quite handy, um, you know, just to have one knocking around uh, in your workshop or whatever, if you if even if you're not into electronics. So yeah, that was just a quick uh, look at the uh, DT eight thirty B, um. As always, buy what you can afford. If you can afford to buy a fluke, by all means, buy a fluke. But if you're just beginning or don't want to spend a fortune and you're just doing hobby stuff, you know, crap little kits from, uh, you know, China, whatever it is, something like this is going to be absolutely fine. Take care, guys. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up. And as always, if you don't mind, please subscribe. And I'll see you soon, uh, see you soon I should say, for another video. All the best.